we all feel anxious from time to time. Indeed, anxiety is a natural and normal response to some of the things that happen to us all. We may feel anxious when someone's in hospital or if we've got a difficult meeting at work. Anxiety taps into our fight or flight mechanism. It protects us from danger or helps us to check things are just as we'd like them to be. It can make us more alert and improve our performance. But overthinking a situation or worrying too much can make us tired and able to concentrate and feel on edge all the time. As soon as one anxious thought goes, another comes along. And if we experience anxiety for too long, day after day, night after sleepless night, it affects our health and our ability to do normal day-to-day -day things at home and at work. Anxiety makes us feel trapped even in our safest places. We get scared about going out or meeting people. Everything gets bigger and bigger and feels out of control. We have rapid and repeated thoughts and sometimes panic attacks. Thoughts rush round, rapid, deep breathing, feeling faint, the room spinning. This feels like a heart attack. We've got to get out. Anxiety feels like a bird of prey. It's got its claws into you. For some people, anxiety leads to obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD. Now, let's be clear. No one is a little bit OCD. We all have routines and habits, like checking the doors locked, but that isn't OCD. OCD is when it takes ages to leave the house because the door needs checking lots of times. You see, people who have OCD experience unwanted thoughts, unpleasant images or urges that repeatedly enter the mind, causing feelings of anxiety, disgust or unease. These obsessive thoughts lead to debilitating, compulsive behaviours, which are carried out to try and relieve these unpleasant feelings. And if the ritual isn't completed, there's a real fear that something bad is going to happen. Other people experience anxiety if they've witnessed or been involved in an accident or a traumatic event. Someone with post-traumatic stress disorder often relives this event through nightmares and flashbacks and may experience feelings of isolation, irritability and guilt. It too can have a long-term and substantial effect on work and normal day-to-day -day activities and relationships. Whatever form it is, anxiety can take you to places you don't want to go to. The good news, though, is that anxiety can be brought under control. It's important to talk to the doctor and medication can be helpful. Employers can help too. They're not there to be a counsellor, but the more they can understand, the more they can support you. Anxiety is often a response to a problem, and though we may not be able to change the problem, we can change our response to it. So instead of ruminating about the past or worrying about the future, it's important to take control of the mind instead of the mind controlling us. It can be as simple as taking some time just to be still, even while you're at work. Mindfulness combined with cognitive behavioural therapy, or CBT, can also help manage problems by changing the way we think and behave. This takes practice, but it can help deal with issues in a more positive way by breaking them down into smaller, manageable parts and changing negative thought patterns to improve the way we feel. Focusing on our breathing when we start to feel anxiety building regulates it and reduces our heart rate. One method is to consciously breathe in through the nose for a few seconds and then, slowly, breathe out through the mouth. You can do that at work too. Exercise can help, whether it's running, cycling, swimming or walking or doing something we enjoy, like a hobby. These make our body happy and help our mind feel calmer too. Face up to the problem and it won't be able to face up to you. We may still feel anxious from time to time, but now look who's really in control. <laughs>